So in this lecture, we are going to know about multiple file formats that are available for ENSA. So when you import or export any file in ENSA, you have to take care of the file format. So basically you can divide the file formats into multiple categories. So if you take a look at here, we have file format. So we can divide this into four categories. The first category is native CAD formats. Second one is the neutral file format. Third one is ENSA file and the fourth one is solver deck file. Let's understand about each file format one by one. If you go to the native file format, in this native file format, you will have different CAD format. Like we have different CAD software like NX, Creo, Katia, etc. Each software has its own file format. So that is why it is called native CAD format. You can open these files into ANSA software directly using the specific options. Second is the neutral format. In the neutral format, we have STP or step file, IGS, Parasolid, etc. So the advantage of these file is you can open these files in any software. For example, if you have any NX file, then you cannot open this NX file in any other CAD software. Like you cannot open this NX file in Creo, Katia, etc. For this purpose, we need to use neutral file format. This file format can be opened in any software. And generally most of the time for ANSA software, whenever we import any CAD, we use these neutral file formats. And then we have ANSA file. So this ANSA file is .ansa file. This is a ANSA native file. It can be only opened in the ANSA software. Last one is solver deck file. Now these files are related to a specific solver. As we know, ANSA is a preprocessor and we solve our model for any other solver. For example, we have a solver like Abacus, LSDyna, Optistruct, etc. So each of these solver has its own file format. Abacus has .inp, LSDyna has .k, Optistruct is .fem. And then there are many more software and each one has its own file format. So whenever you open these files in ANSA, you have to take care of which file format is this. Then we have to select options accordingly. So now let's go to ANSA and understand this. Here I am in the ANSA homepage. Now first option is to select the solver. If you go to the right option, rightmost option here, you will see solver icon here. I will click on this arrow. You can see multiple solvers like Nastran, LSDyna, PEMcrash, Abacus, etc. So whichever our file format is, we have to use that solver accordingly. For example, I have Abacus. Okay. And for this Abacus, I have one INP file, which we will open. Okay. Then if you go to file and if you go to input, you can see in the input, we have some option for selecting the format like Abacus, Nastron, LSDyna, etc. Then if you go to the bottom, you, you will have multiple options for each software. Then again, go to more and here you will see plot, Raven, Medina. There are lots of options. So these are all options of solver specific. Okay. Now, if you want to open any file that is not a solver file, in that case, you need to go to option of open, go to open. And right now it will ask whether we want to exit our current database or not. I will say discard. We don't want to save existing model. So discard. Now you can see the window is open. Now you can see the window is open. In this window here, you can see you can browse the location and you can select the file format. But here in the filter type, you need to click on this option. Then you can see all supported files in ANSA database that is ANSA file. We have IGS, 
एस टी पी एस टी पी जेड देन कैटिया एंड फॉर ईच कैटिया वर्जन वी हैव मल्टीपल ऑप्शन सिमिलरली इफ यू गो टू द बॉटम हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव यूनिग्राफिक्स एन एक्स फाइल पैरा सॉलिड प्रो इंजीनियर दैट इज क्रियो फाइल सॉलिड वर्कस एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल हेयर ओके सो वेन एवर वी विल इम्पोर्ट एनी फाइल we have to take care of the file format so in the next lecture we will learn how to import and export the file okay so i will cancel it now